Hello everyone, this is Running On Empty Food Review. Well, hello, ladies, gentlemen, and everyone watching. Welcome one and all to this newest edition of the Running On Empty Food Review series. I'm your host, The Report of the Week. Thank you for tuning in. It's always a pleasure to be here. Another pizza review. I know I say this pretty much in every single pizza review that I do, but it's true, so I'll say it again anyway. I always look forward to these sorts of videos, and I know that pizzas are sort of... They're variable, they're not the most frequently released fast food item, but they are one that I always, well, for the most part, uh, find myself enjoying. Pizza Hut, this time around, is the establishment that has the latest... I can't say greatest, because I haven't tried it yet, new pizza out. And this time around, I don't know if they've ever really tried this concept before, but at least recently, they have released their Hot Honey Pizza. A name like that, I think, leaves a lot to the imagination, and you might be saying, Hot Honey? What did they mean by that, right? What exactly are they trying to, to convey with a name like that? The good news is that I was able to do some digging and I found out exactly what is on this pizza because obviously the name doesn't give it away at all. So, the pizza comes with marinara sauce, cheese, it has two types of pepperoni on it. It has their standard classic pepperoni as well as their crispy cupped pepperoni. And then, and this is the important part, the pizza itself is drizzled with a sweet sauce, aka honey, infused with habanero peppers. So, it's essentially a pepperoni pizza with the two types of the pepperonis, the regular pepperoni and then the cupped pepperoni. And then the name, of course, has to deal with this hot honey sauce that is vigorously drizzled atop the pizza that, again, is supposed to bring a bit of sweetness, as well as a bit of spice, to the pizza as well. It's available in essentially a medium or a large, and you could actually get it in any sort of crust uh, that you would like. So you could get this as a pan pizza, you could get it as a hand-tossed pizza, you could even get it as a stuffed crust pizza. For the most part, though, it has been advertised as a hand-tossed pizza, so that's what I got, and it is mostly advertised as a large pizza, so that likewise is what I got. But you could get this as a medium as well, which is somewhat rare because a lot of these specialty pizzas from any establishment, be that Pizza Hut, Papa John's, Domino's, Little Caesars, etc., are usually just available as a large. So for those of you that maybe this idea sounds interesting, but perhaps you may not be all that ravenous, uh, then the medium option might be best. Price-wise for it, you could get a medium pizza starting at the price of $12. A large pizza starts at the price of around $15. I paid $16 for this one, as the price uh, can fluctuate and vary based on region. So, I've seen mostly positive reactions to this pizza so far. Uh, obviously, when you think of a, a pizza, all right, spiciness, that makes sense, right? You could, there's plenty of spicy pizzas out there, but it's the sweetness that uh, makes some people say, well, I don't know how good that's going to be. But again, based on what I've seen, and I obviously haven't tried it yet, a lot of people have been saying this is one of their favorite pizzas uh, that they've had from Pizza Hut, which is a very bold statement to make, being that Pizza Hut has released so many pizzas, so it's going to be interesting. Of course, I'm going to be looking uh, not only, of course, just for the sweet and spicy notes, but which one is prevalent if one happens to be stronger than the other, and likewise, how does it all come together? Pizza Hut, right there, as it says. Which no one out pizzas. And there it is. 
I'll hold up the pizza itself, or a slice thereof, I should say, in a moment, so you can get a closer look. Uh, but again, you can obviously see, based on the crust that it is hand-tossed, a very good pepperoni distribution as well. You could definitely see the crisp uh, to the cupped pepperonis. And I don't know how well you could necessarily see, but you see how some of, especially the cupped pepperonis, appear as though they are glistening? I'm sure there is some grease in there, undoubtedly, but likewise, uh, that's some of the sauce, it looks as though, is uh, on the pizza, giving it that sort of glistening characteristic. But again, it doesn't really look too different from a pepperoni pizza, so let's get a slice and hold a slice up so that a closer view can be achieved. I'm just trying to... I guess this slice seems good enough. You could see it's a bit on the thicker side, and again, now you could sort of see the glistening. That's a mix, of course, of grease and oil from the cheese and the pepperoni, but also uh, the sauce as well. And you could especially see it gathering right in there, in some of those the cupped pepperonis. So there you have it. That's what it looks like. And now, of course, it's time to see what precisely it tastes like, and if it is any good. So, I'll be trying it out now, and then get into the assessment. The Pizza Hut, Hot Honey Pizza, is going in. While I eat this, I'll engage in a little bit of a story. This pizza really got me thinking about the phenomenon of honey. You know, you obviously see it in the supermarkets, you see it incorporated into various items like this, but you might wonder, where, where exactly does it come from? And for many, many years, no one knew. We, we just knew that it was sort of there, and it could be gathered mostly in the wild, but no one really knew how to cultivate it, or how precisely, you know, to, to really get it, or how to make it, or where does it even come from? No one really knew. And it wasn't until the early 90s, when a team of scientists in Portland, Oregon, actually discovered the truth about honey. They discovered that honey is created by these sorts of strange proto-bird-like creatures that they call bees, okay? Are you following me so far? Apparently what happens, the bees sort of attract each other. In the wild, if there's a large enough group of bees, essentially they'll all gather around, you know, in a, in a certain area, and eventually a gravitational midpoint will develop. So what will happen is the bees will start kind of clumping together more and more as they're starting to form together as a singular mass because of the, the gravity of them all. They're all being drawn in to a singular point.
And you have the bees continually pushing in and pushing in, getting closer and closer. Gravity is getting stronger and stronger. As a result, as they get closer to each other, the friction between the bees themselves starts generating energy. And then the energy starts pushing back out, but the gravity is pushing back in. And you start having this reaction that starts ongoing that they call nuclear fusion, right? And essentially what happens is through the nuclear fusion, especially what they call hydrogen fusion, the bees start generating this substance that they then call honey. And then we cultivate it and we put it on pizzas. And one final bite. Yeah, I know that story was, was a real thriller. That one was was one for the ages, no doubt. So, now into an absolutely masterful tangent. Was this pizza one for the ages, right? So, this is the interesting thing that I have to say about it. The pizza itself is pleasant tasting, I would describe it as. And I think it would come down to a sort of matter of interpretation essentially, wherein you have to ask yourself, and I would say ask yourself this, before you go out and get this pizza, if you're thinking about getting it anyway, what exactly am I looking to derive from this pizza, you know? Do I want something that just tastes good, right? Something that would be to the extent that I could eat it comfortably and not go gagging it up and uh, being deeply regretful of every of everything, right? Or am I looking for a pizza that's really, really sweet, right? Or am I looking for a pizza that's really, really spicy? Because of course this sort of name and sort of uh, concept behind the pizza leaves room to some open interpretation. Uh, you could go into this thinking, this is going to be really sweet, you know, honey and all that. And maybe you want that note on the pizza and you're really looking forward to it for that reason. Or you think, Oh, it's got the habanero infused, and it's got all the pepperoni on it, which could certainly have a spicy note. So I think this is going to be a really spicy pizza, right? And I really want that. So you have to ask yourself first, what exactly is the expectation going into this? If you're looking for a pleasant tasting pizza, one that I would say is enjoyable, and that's really about it, I think this pizza would be fine. But if you're going into this expecting strength, now, by that I mean strength, or perhaps I should say potency, with flavor. Well, here's something to remember. The sauce, while flavorful, while noticeable, isn't necessarily as strong as I expected it to be. Sorry about that. I thought I had a little something in my throat and I didn't want to go trying to... I was able to get it through sipping the water. But anyway, the sauce wasn't as potent as I thought it was going to be. I bite in. Granted, the pizza itself tastes fine. Uh, you could taste, of course, the pepperoni. It's a greasy pizza. It's an oily pizza. Uh, it has that thicker sort of base. Uh, not quite to the extent that it would be if it's a pan pizza, but it still has that doughiness to it, uh, while still, though, having structure both on the bottom as well as in the crust. Again, it is greasy. The pepperoni, uh, it's very crispy, the, the cupped pepperoni, that is. I'm sure you could hear it kind of crunching a bit as I was eating it, but it's pleasant. And uh, I think a lot of people would probably enjoy that sort of texture uh, as far as the nice crunch that the pepperoni provides. Still has, you know, some saltiness, especially with the pepperoni, but it's, so far it's a pleasant pepperoni pizza. So then comes the sauce. The marinara sauce you actually can't really taste all that much of. 
Not that it isn't there, it obviously is, but it's just a sort of an afterthought. Uh, you don't really notice it all that much. Same thing with the cheese. The cheese is there, but mostly you're going to be noticing, again, the pepperoni, the oiliness. And then we get, of course, to the hot honey sauce. Number one, the sauce is somewhat sticky, but again, it isn't, let's say, as sticky as I initially pictured it. So it's a little easier to eat in that regard. At first, I was a little concerned. I thought, am I going to bite into this and the sauce is going to be all over my face and I'm going to have to just go uh, vigorously wash my face at some point? But it's really not that bad at all. Uh, I was even able to clean my hands without any sort of water and I was able to do that sufficiently and uh, the sauce pretty much stays in place. But again, the notes, while both there, are a bit muted, I would say, uh, in that the sweetness is there. I definitely taste it. And I taste a little bit of a spicy note, but I would describe both of those notes as mild. And I thought it was going to be a little bit more stronger than it is. You know, I would even be willing to say that there is neither, neither one of them necessarily prevails over the other. Uh, it's, n it's not any more spicy than it is sweet, which is interesting. I bite in. There's a mild sweetness followed by a mild spiciness. Uh, the spiciness does not linger very much as an aftertaste. Uh, it essentially hits on contact, perhaps slightly after the sweetness, but uh, it's short-lived. I would describe it as essentially mild, uh, as again is the sweetness. Neither is really overwhelming. Of course, you'll take the bite, you'll notice it. You'll notice, yeah, this is a little sweet, you know? It's got that little sweetness to it. Oh yeah, it is a little spicy, you know? Maybe it's a tiny bit more spicy than just a regular pepperoni pizza. But you aren't going to go into this thinking, wow, this is, this is the spiciest pizza I've ever had. I need to just go guzzle down, you know, some milk at this point. Or this is the sweetest, most honey-esque pizza I have ever had in my entire existence. And uh, wow, this is really, this is incredible. You're probably not going to think that. You're just going to take the bite. You're going to think, yeah, this tastes all right. This is pretty good. Yeah, I'll keep eating it. I'll, I'll have another slice. Maybe I'll have another slice after that. Yeah, it tastes fine for what it is. Oh, yeah. It's a little sweet, a little spicy. Nothing too crazy. But is it necessarily that jam-packed, ultra-flavorful, ultra-spicy and sweet pizza? No, it's not. So that's about where things stand. Fine for what it is. I'm happy with it. You know, it tastes good. I'm going to continue enjoying this. But again, muted flavors. So it's pleasant. I'd say if you're interested, get it while the getting's good, as they say. And uh, it's only a limited time item. But just remember, if you're looking for something packed with flavor, you might be a little disappointed, but still pretty decent, all things considered. So therefore, out of 10, what am I going to be rating the hot honey pizza from Pizza Hut? Pleasant for what it is, could be maybe a little more flavorful, but still good. Therefore, all things considered, I'm going to give it a 7.2 out of 10. And that's all that I have for you. Thank you for watching, and until next time, I'm your host, The Report of the Week.